Hi, my name's Holic, and I'll be going over how to use a level design toolkit, specifically with Tales of Pure. I'm going to go ahead and open one of my recent projects that I've been working on, which is the Goblin Stronghold. It has already been released at this point, but I will only be focusing on the first couple maps, just so I'm not releasing any type of uh, spoilers or other information. The point of this video is going to be primarily going over the layers within LGDK, and that will allow us to build a simple map. Uh, follow along and we'll go from there. Uh, the first thing I do want to teach is reflective. I'm actually going to skip off of this first map and go to my third map just to display. And we're going to go to single layer mode here. Reflective is going to be primarily your water, anything that you can't step on, anything that's going to be um, doing something special that's outside of land. If you're going to be doing water, make sure that you stick within the same plot of tiles. Don't mix and match, otherwise things will be flowing in different directions. It'll look gross, trust me. Uh, moving up from there, we have the floor layer. Floor layer is anything that you can step on. Note, there is a black tile. You cannot step on the black tile. Learn that the hard way. Spent hours trying to figure it out. Any other layer works, or any other uh, color works. Walls, this is a bad map for that, but let me scoot back over here. Walls are anything that are going to block off the edges of your map or prevent any type of um, movement and framing. You can also utilize these X's. They're meant for... Um, other specifics that will be shown within the mapper pack a little bit more detail. A uh, decal layer is going to be anything you're going to be placing on the ground that allows you to select or um, walk past it without being able to actually choose it. Objects, on the other hand, are items that you can uh, interact with in the world. So crates, uh, rocks, walls, things to chisel, etc. In front and behind is that next layer up. Anything that's going to be uh, in front or behind a physical character, that's going to allow you to walk around behind, under, beneath things. Overall is the uh, highest point. That is the one thing that's going to be on top of it all. That's going to, no matter what, show uh, beyond the rest of the layers. And then the final layer is the entities. These are going to be your spawn points, your travels, your portals, your uh, enemies. You can even have messages when somebody walks to a certain point and selects it, it'll pop up with other information. But uh, yeah, it's just a quick overview of how all of the layers work. And I'll see you for round two.